Hello, I'm Joy with Two Way Radio Center, and today I'm going to go over installing the VX231 programming software on your computer. To get the VX231 programming software, please contact your authorized dealer, Two Way Radio Center. The file will not say VX230 on it, the file will say CE99. You will be emailed this programming software. To start, you're going to have to have a zip file on your computer. If you do not have a zip file software on your computer, you can easily download a version such as WinRAR, W-I-N-R-A-R, online for free. To begin, after you've received the VX230 programming software, the CE99, what you can do is just copy the programming software on your computer. When you do have it, double click on the link. And the next step you're going to want to do is go to Setup Application. It may come up as Setup.exe or Setup Application. It's the same for both. So once you see the screen, click on Setup. And every computer is different, so you may not see these exact steps, but it will be something similar. If you have security software on your computer, if you are at a, a company, you may need your administrator to authorize loading this on your computer. That is a possibility. But just follow the prompt, say yes, you would like it to be programmed on your computer. The next message that says this software is compliant with the FCC narrowbanding directive and will only program radios with channel spacings of 12.5 kilohertz or less. Do you want to continue this installation? Okay. And you'll see something similar to this on your screen showing that it's downloading and preparing to install. And then it should take you to the Install Shield wizard. Just click Next. Just click Next. I don't like to change where I'm going to be installing the folder um, just in case it ends up getting lost. I just like to keep clicking Next. And then when it says Click Install to begin installation, click Install. And then your computer again will have the Install Shield wizard processing your request. And this may take several minutes. Just give it time. Don't hit cancel. Just let it go through. <laughs> and then it will say the Install Shield wizard has successfully installed the software. Click Finish. And then you do have a boot up option. You can click yes on this. I typically just click no. And it will say install complete. OK. Then you can look at the README notepad, see if any of that pertains to you. Typically, I just close that out. And then I minimize the CE99 setup screen. And the next step is, after you load the software on your computer, is of course finding where it's saved on your computer. <laughs> and if you have my computer on your desktop, you can go there. Um, you see on this computer, it says VX230 series. You can also find it by clicking on computer or my computer. You can go on your C drive, program files. And you have to scroll down until you see Vertex, which is not on this computer, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, but typically you will see the icon for VX230 series here on your computer. If you have any questions or need any help, please contact us at Two-Way Radio Center. Thank you for your time.